So just, just, just to show you how scary this is and where we're going, I have for you a question. How many of you know the Bill of Rights? OK. What is under threat right now? I'm going to read you a couple, a couple lines from the Bill of Rights. Tell me if you think these things are under threat. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Have you guys been able to worship freely? OK. How about abridging freedom of speech? Do you feel like you can speak freely online? Have you ever seen a Charlie Kirk tweet like without a, without a button underneath it saying, this is disputed, messing context? <laughs> OK. Um, how about the Second Amendment? Did you guys listen to Joe Biden on the campaign trail? Do you know that he said Beto O'Rourke's going to be my gun czar? Does anybody have high capacity magazines? You're all going to be taxed for those. Preemptively, that's illegal. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state and the right for the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Do you feel like they're being infringed yeah. right now in this country? I'm going to skip number three because I don't think many of you guys house soldiers in your home. There's actually a super interesting philosophical argument, but I can go into that later. I'm going to skip right down to the big one, and then we're going to take questions. They are, but uh, I just they, want to they're totally violating the Third Amendment, but that's a different thing. Well, okay. Every time they spy on you, it is a violation of the Third Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. But anyway. I go, I go to Charlie's house, and there's, he, he's just housing all these I got British troops soldiers. all over the place. So. <laughs> but it was a real problem because they kept on... They kept, the British troops would just walk into people's homes, and they would be like, this is ours now. It was a serious problem. It was like a number one complaint that actually started the revolution. So if you know, you know who to talk to if you have a British troop in your house. Get out! Get out of the it, basement! It the no more It would be the first application of the Third Amendment, I think. Like something really years. important, and I think this should be so crucial during this holiday period. This is so valuable, and I encourage you to go back and read your founding documents anytime you get a chance. Read the Fourth Amendment. Please, I pray, read the Fourth Amendment. I'm going to read it to you right now. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, homes, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. That's right there, near the top, right by number two and three and one, saying you are secure in your own home to do as you damn well please. And it's your right as an American living in this country, it's your right to be able to have Thanksgiving, and invite over your massive family, <laughs> right? <laughs> to, eat, to eat dry turkey. If you have a huge family like mine, my wife is one of 12. It's your right to sing holiday songs as loud as you want to, and to drink what you want to, and to do what you want to in your home. It says so right there. And if you want to know how terrifying it is to not have that, go to Cuba where our Airbnb, we did an Airbnb, and the government just kicked down the door without a warrant because she didn't like who was inside her home. We were inside, Turning Point was inside of her house, and the government kicked down the door and sent us to the embassy and stole our stuff. That's what happens when you don't have a Fourth Amendment. And so if you want to know the reality of what Charlie's talking about, we've talked so much theoretically at Turning Point about the things that could happen. It's happening. I just read to you the first four amendments. And I, I can see out in the room, every person was nodding along with me, feel, like, I, not if you feel like these are being infringed, every single person. And we're in the South, <laughs> okay? Like, try living in New York, try living in Manhattan right now, where there's literally Gestapo Stasi with, with binoculars. You guys seen these photos? They're sending people with binoculars to look into your home to see how many people you have over for a party. Oh my God, it's getting real. So the point is, like, the point is, be encouraged for one thing, and this is the final thing. AV, get ready. The final thing is this. The person pushing the most communism in America is this person. The person who's leading the communists is right here. Do we have the second video? <laughs> no? Oh, well, never mind. Jason, you're fired. So with, with the second that. video is AOC not knowing what a garbage disposal is. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm a happy guy. I don't like fire and brimstone. I'm telling you guys, be encouraged and be uplifted in your fight. We are fighting along with you, okay? This is a happy, joyous movement because we're here to save the damn country.